Hello and welcome back. So today I thought I would show you my socks after seeing Sean's video Get towards gear. I wanted in under sack action as well. So here's my sack collection So we will go from the smallest to the largest and the largest is not a sack or it's a Swiss tool, but you know so first We have the small guy here. It's the SD classic It's on my keychain. I had it for years on my keys has a knife, file screwdriver, and scissors. And this is my primary scissors in addition to the nail clippers which I carry. So you will not find very many scissors here because I always have scissors on my keys. Next, the waiter. Okay, this has the can opener, flathead, I mean bottle opener, flathead, blade, and corkscrew. Okay, waiter. Quite slim, handy. If you work in the restaurant industry, this could be a nice addition to your work EDC. That's where I got it when I was working in the, still working in the restaurant industry. So yeah. Then comes the recruit. This is a fairly simple one. It has bottle opener, screwdriver, can opener, screwdriver, big blade, small blade. Fairly nice little package there. Continuing on, we have the Tinker Small, which has a big blade, small blade, bottle opener, screwdriver, can opener, screwdriver, Phillips and all. And if you are into MacGyver, the Tinkerer model is one which he carries quite often in the, in the series. So both the small and the regular. So if you want to get the knife which MacGyver has, this is a good choice. And it's a quite handy blade as well, especially for those recessed Phillips and if you need to poke a hole in something as well. Continuing, it's the, this is a very slim, more of a gentleman's type of folder. This one has seen some use in its day and probably opened some bottles. Yeah, it has a two blades, very slim. Very light, something to put in your suit pocket, for example. This is the Excelis saw, I think it was called. So yeah, very, very slim blade. Next, I will move these ones around. The regular tinkerer or tinker, same as the smaller one, just a tad bigger. This is the one I carry every day. And then. We have the Huntsman. This one I got used for a fair price, so I had to jump on it. It has the small blade, big blade, saw, scissors, bottle opener, screwdriver, can opener, screwdriver, corkscrew, carrying hook, and all. I've been looking for a Ranger as well, but I can't seem to find one for a acceptable price, but this one was $15 shipped. And it's in very good condition as well, so yeah. a huntsman. And this mimics my outright here as well, which we will get to. But first, it's the floral. Okay, this is a sheep's foot, single bladed Swiss army knife with fairly strong spring as well in it. And the handle is quite large, it's larger than the blade. My hands are, you know, large size hands. Very handy. If you want a box cutter or utility tool from, and you still like Victorian Oaks, this is a very good one to go with. It's just, you know, very good utility blade. And of course, if you want to do florally stuff with it as well, I, I guess it would work for that. Then comes the Outride, which I like to take in the woods with me and the outdoors. This is a older model, but it's not the first model, it's the second model of the old type, which has the slide lock here, okay, has the long blade, a saw, scissors, can open a screwdriver, bottle open a screwdriver, a thin Phillips, very long but thin Phillips, which is quite strange, but this one came on the second variant of the slide lock one, the first one which came didn't have this one. I would prefer it maybe to be a marlin spike type of thing, but you know. 
Then we have the corkscrew and the awl there. So over here, a very nice big Swiss Army knife. And I wanted the one with the, uh, the modern ones come with a liner lock instead of the slide lock now. And I wanted one with a nail nick because the blade profile I think is better. Because the one handed one kind of looks like this one, which is the Sentinel. This is just a one bladed liner locking Victorian arcs. Okay. I don't really like the liner lock on it because it has play in it, but it's pressed against the scales and it goes the wrong direction and it has a spring in it. It's a very strange kind of uh, deal. It's not really a one handed liner locking blade either. You kind of have to press it on something and hope you don't cut your fingers off. But yeah. yeah. I don't know about this one. And uh, this one used to be a partially serrated one as well, but do you know? Yeah. yeah. Don't really like this one that much. Like the, the concept of the liner lock in the wrong way and the spring in addition to the liner lock is it, a very strange, strange deal, this one. And then we have my Swiss tool. This is a regular Swiss tool. Let me just open it. So it's the big one, okay, it has some big pliers, big handles, and on the inside it has a, let's see if focus here, some screwdrivers, saw, serrated blade, regular blade, and file and a Phillips there. It's a very, very well finished, high quality multi-tool, and the Swiss tools and the Swiss tool spirits, I think are the nicest finished multi-tools on the market. If you need something really heavy duty, you might be better off getting a a Letterman Surge if you really want to beat on it. But for you know most people I think I think a Swiss tool is the nicest one you can get. The Swiss tool and the Swiss tool spirit. They're very nice tools. And you know I like Victorian Oaks things, but they also like Leathermans. They both have their uses. So yeah, this is my sags. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.